Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to address some things. And as you can see, I've got my whiteboard. So give me your attention because you will benefit from this. And the topic is, how can this be ascension? I feel like crap. <laughs> I want to explain some of the process to you. Okay, and I have a visual here to help you sort of identify with this and maybe some of the things that are going on in your life. Not what you see in all the other children around you on the playground, but your life. How does this pertain to you? So first of all, welcome. If this is new to you, this is intended to explain and kind of give you some clarity or help some of the light bulbs go out, go off. <laughs> you know, get those light bulb aha moments and not turn off your lights, not that. And, you know, kind of learn, all right? A lot of people, they're getting really confused because there's the wrong kind of mental information out there. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of ancient stuff that has no relevance on your life. So let's talk about, first you have, let's just assume you had an awakening or an activation and you started finding out about twin flames. Now that might've been 20 years ago. It might've been in the last six months. The time element is irrelevant because a large part of the process is starting in this year. Now, the very first thing to talk about down here, you're in a 3D, you've lived in a 3D survival mode, whatever that is. For a lot of us, that might have been our childhoods, it might have been other times of our life. Even if you don't believe in past lives, it's been the lives of your ancestors, those really hard knock lives. You're living in a cave with karma, okay? Quite simply, karma is experience. You're kind of experiencing the flip sides of the coin, but it's old. It's old, it's ancient, it was to learn. We're done learning, okay? You don't have to learn the same lessons all over. You don't have to keep saying, well, that's my karma, or someone died because, well, it was their karma. Not necessarily, it could be negligence of other people living karmically, okay? Now, how does this feel? So if you look here, I've kind of drawn this, like people start moving along. Who is moving you? It's your own soul. It's your soul and your personal 5D self because your soul doesn't want to live there doesn't want to support that stuff and doesn't want to, you know, keep infusing energy into old things. Okay. It's like functionally obsolete. Now it's like pouring money into an old decrepit car. You, at some point it's like, it doesn't make sense anymore. So you, but you can feel lurchy, you know, like jerks of movements. You can feel upward movement. You can feel tangible movement even when you're still, that's a part of the process. And it's also a part of why are you sensing the things you are? Are you feeling headachey? You know, maybe that's some head pressure. It's not exactly a full blown headache. You're kind of like, did I eat something? Or it can be a full blown migraine, bad. You gotta turn off the lights. You can feel nauseous or queasy and you can have vertigo, okay? That's what that equals. But it's confusing. It's very confusing. And this is when a lot of people hit the wall and they get stuck. They get stuck. This is the as below. Okay. It's like really low stuff. What else can happen? Oh, there is a list of things. Now, this is not a comprehensive list, but these are some of the most common things. Your dreams get weird. That's one thing. I didn't write that down. But loss of desire. Okay. That happens, okay? And sometimes it happens involuntarily, okay? You stop lubricating, you stop getting aroused, a loss of desire, illness. This can be something as mild as what we call ascension flu. Like you feel like you have the flu, but it's not really the flu, but it is, but it isn't. It's ascension flu. It can be ancestral stuff comes up, arguments, family patterns and you're just like seeing it with like fresh eyes why because you already did a little bit of your ascension it can be job loss or thinking about leaving your job it can be divorce or thinking about it 
money can keep seem to keep draining out and that's a big problem for a lot of people big ticket items car repairs things you have to pay for taxes etc there is a way to address these things and it's through your light body you might not think you're like wait a minute isn't that something spiritual yeah but if you don't have the money for the things you need and want and desire your spirit is not going to thrive. That's why your soul doesn't want to live down there anymore. Your kids are lacked out. You can feel trapped. Many kinds of traps. Okay, like you're trapped with your kids. You're trapped in a marriage. You're just trapped. You're trapped in a job. Okay, breathe, pace, because there is a way. We're going to get to that. And there can be things that happen around you or to you, crime, violence, scams, disloyalty, okay? How can this be ascension? Well, it's what's coming up to be healed, cleaned, purified, and it's specific for twin flames, okay? That means you first, you the viewer, and you the doer, and you the person who is able to be and that positively affects your true other half, wherever they are, okay? Which may not be the person you're with or want to be with, okay? Misinformation. You have a connection, but confusion. Focus on you, okay? So how do we do this? Well, I have door number one or door number two. I'm going to go to door number two first. I don't know if you can see it, but... You do nothing and you get nothing. You stir around the karma and receive more karma. How does that happen? It's kind of like dating. If you don't somehow self-improve and clear old patterns and stop talking about your exes, and guess what? You're going to attract the same kind of people. You can also attract more karma. Do you really want more? You don't have to learn those lessons. And I'm going to say something here for both women and men. Women especially, do not think that you have to go through someone to get to your twin flame. That person is no longer a lesson for you. Trust your soul that you've learned the lessons and it's time to start looking at the door number one stuff. We're getting to that. What do some people do? You park yourself and you get sick and karma levels are not supported. Your soul is not supporting any of these karma levels. Karma levels, karma levels. Are you living there? But do you want to stay there? Okay, there is a way. There is a way. It's through your light body because it's a new light body that doesn't want to accumulate all this crap and make you feel like crap. The existential crisis. This hits men a lot. Ever wonder why men are depressed? Ever wonder why men can't really... Uh, like overcome certain things to seek real help. This is real help. Working with your light body is the real help that's needed. If they're not doing it, if you sense it, if they are struggling, if they are having what are called mental health issues, they question their existence, they're depressed, they have suicidal thoughts, or they swing the other way. They're like, I'm having homicidal thoughts, okay? It's the same energetic, suicide and homicide, but which one are we expressing? Ah, we get into that in my classes because one is, you know, not better than the other. They're both bad. Nobody really is intended to live there where they're questioning why they're lonely or why they exist or what's going to happen today or their life has no meaning. You have to help each other have meaning in your life by feeling it, okay? This is part of the reason that females have been awakened in the way that they have. You've held life in your body, okay? It's a little easier in some ways, but a lot of males have had to, what? We're seeing it all around us, do the violence stuff, crimes, all the other stuff. It's not a hard and fast rule. Not every man does, but the masculine energy has accumulated a lot of this stuff that needs to go. And in this life, it's leading people into questions, mental health things, okay? I hate to say the word issues, okay? Because 
I have solutions for it for people to feel better. What else about door number two? People sometimes don't know what to do or how to do it. I teach how to do it, not just reporting the news. I teach it in my classes, in my sessions, in my books, in my webinars. But what happens when they don't? Well, they can turn to drugs, alcohol, and other addictions. What are other addictions? Being a rageaholic, being a gambler, being a shopaholic spending every last dime that that son of a gun doesn't have, putting yourselves into debt for revenge. Yeah, that happens in relationships. Reneging on promises, giving empty promises, like there, can we just not go down that black hole that, you know, is all this stuff, okay? Because yeah, it will make people wonder why, if their life is a living hell, are they even here or existing? We got to flip that around. And I have ways through the light body that I teach people to do it. A lot of people will choose door number two because they live in fear of the unknown. They say things to themselves like, wait a minute, I'm married. I met my twin flame, but why did this happen to me? I can't get a divorce. I'll be shunned, I'll be shamed, I won't have money, I won't have financial security. If you're if you're thinking in terms of a man, a man could walk out the door and get hit by a car or have a heart attack, okay? It's not a guarantee that because you have a man that you have financial security. It's not a guarantee for men that if they have a lover that they're not going to feel parts of their existential crisis because a lot of people are with some form of a karmic partner okay or they're with no one and there is someone for you and the connections are in the inside so door number one okay how do you not feel like crap how do you really get going i have people use their light bodies i walk you through it i help you get it open and get the channels open so you begin your real task of opening your new chakras okay and that includes your new channels, channels that go into your body. They're like, it's like having tubes that funnel love into vital organs to get rid of illness and ancestral stuff. Yeah, you'll purge it out. Yeah, I walk you through the purging. Yeah, I'm holding your hand through your purging. There's ways to do this to make it easy. Yes, you have a light body. Yes, you have a physical body. And I help you to balance both break through by breaking through the vibrational barrier you see this line i made here that's a vibrational barrier how do you get up to the better levels that your soul has for you for your future okay a lot of people that watch my videos they're kind of on the youngish side okay like there's a certain age range it's not people who are in hospice ready to you know they're at death's door and they've already lived their life, they're in well into their 90s or 100 years old. No, it's people who are still in their reproductive stages and, you know, want to enjoy their life. Break through the vibrational barrier, okay? It's proactive. You have to do it and you will feel the difference. And you'll actually feel it. It's tangible. Learn how easy it can be. Learn the daily routine to feel 5D love. Feel it funnel into your etheric body. So that's what I'm loosely calling your etheric body is a larger structure. It's invisible, but it's tangible. It can be felt. Some people call it your force field. Like I like saying that to little kids. Hey, your force field. You know, they're so proud. They're like, I have a force field because there's an inherent sense of I have powers and I have protection. Yes, your etheric body. You develop and heighten your own body, which brings forward your gifts, your skills, and your intuitions. How much better can you do with this stuff if you have gifts and skills and intuitive learning and messages and guidance, okay? This is why people, when they keep going to psychics, all you're getting is some of the times they have psychics mind, right? Like they'll say, you will lose your job. But like what they're not saying, they're not saying, 
Like I say, hey, have an exit plan. Don't quit your day job. Let's make a plan that uses your light body so you segue easily up through this into your new level. Get what I mean? Are you kind of like, are your wheels turning about this? I hope so. I hope you take action because I have the ability to do this again and again. Why? Because I have my own daily routine. I get the energy funneled in. I'm a people person. Okay. What is the next thing? Okay. Because people sometimes will say, wait a minute, am I a twin flame or I'm not a twin flame or I am a twin flame or I don't want to be a twin flame or I don't want one of those. I don't want a narcissist. Your, your real twin flame, if you're not a narcissist, they're not going to be. When I do people's sessions, sometimes what comes through are things like the twin is industrious. They may be a bit shy or they're not an extrovert. You complement each other. You have similar interests, but you're not exactly the same. You're rediscovering each other. You're learning each other new and you're new. The light body, the new light body, your etheric body makes you new to and fresh to each other each and every time. So you don't fall into those boring old karmic relationships. You help each other feel their way and you see and feel your future. Now, that's something that I remind people of is that, you know, love isn't blind. Love feels, love senses, love wants to feel, love wants to experience good stuff. The other thing is that using your higher sight, your, your vision, your higher vision, you begin to see the future. It can first happen through your dreams, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't put you down. It doesn't overwhelm you. It shows you the possibilities and there's a communique that goes back and forth. Hey, how about this? And then you're kind of like, well, here's what I can do down here on earth or, Hey, that looks really good, but here's where my, where I have to start. Like I only have so much to put forward here, but yeah, I'd like to grow it. Okay. There is a way because you begin to see and feel your future. You don't need drugs. You don't need micro dosing. In fact, it doesn't work with those things. Your new light body doesn't need those things. Even if there's people out there saying like, Oh, micro dose, you're going to guess what happens. All you're tripping is your limbic system, which has memories, not future. Okay. There's a difference. You're not seeing your future. You're seeing your wishful thinking. You're seeing a memory. You may see something, but hey, you know, get going with your light body. I'm here to teach you. I don't want you to feel like crap. And thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps my channel. Please help me and look at the description below for our upcoming classes, events, and sessions. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions to help people with this stuff. It goes beyond life coaching. I'm a life coach. Don't think I haven't been through hard knocks, okay? I've been through all this stuff and had to reinvent and reinvent. The only way you're ever going to reinvent is two things, your light body and love. And the love from the highest level you can access, which gets you there. That's why people grow step by step process. So be kind to each other, cut people slack. Bye now.